So, man, it's going to be intense. Now, here we go, guys. What are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you. We're going to look at their stats real quick. Okay? So, I mean, this is this is intense, guys. This is going to be really good because the the potential we have of this match is amazing. Phoenix right now uh, currently waiting to get their one game in to get ranked and are currently 3 and 1. Meanwhile, though, meanwhile, down a little bit more, uh, we have the Danglers, which are 2-2 two and two currently. So, I mean, are they going to make it 3-2 and two right now? We're going to see. Right now, though, with Phoenix, with their games, they have gone against us, Animal House. We ended up beating a very close game, though, 15-10. to 10. Um, That was actually a really fun match. That was our first one as a brand new team. Uh, going against Phoenix. Then we also had Phoenix, who dominated and, you know, another close one against Sinister Pride, winning that one 15 to 8. Taking on Ragnarok, winning that one 15 to 5. And then also beating Gunning on Empty, another 15 to 7. Some very good games by them. And welcome to Malcriado on Phoenix again. Again, I mean, I already said it once, not that he's already been on the team once. Anyway, on the other end, we have the Danglers, who are 2-2. Two and two. But again, these guys are freaking legit right now. Okay? They've gone against this campy blank and barely lost that one. 7-12, 7-9 was the score, but then they had three points added because they won t both rounds. Um, okay, cool, we're still... I'm just making sure we don't have everyone. Um... And then they went against SMC Tactical, which, I mean, is one of the top teams in the league. They Last season, they made it to the semifinals uh, and managed to barely lose a very close match. They, they lost that one 16-6. Then Danglers take the win 16-2 against Guns and Gillies, which is a brand new team in the league. But, you know. They're, they're fun, and we're getting a lot of new teams joining the league right now, and it's looking really good. Um, also, Danglers uh, managed to beat, beat us. It was a close one, though. 9-14. to The final score of that one, of course, was 9-11. Very, very close match yet again, guys. So this is going to be a very good one, and this is important for both of them. Because this will be their fifth match, which will allow them to finally get their MMR. And we'll get some true ranks to come out right here and where everyone stands. Guys, this is, this is exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm really pumped about this. Should I be? Probably. Probably. I think we all should be. And this is also during our Super Bowl Sunday. So it'll be interesting to see what all happens. Okay, they got four so far. We're waiting for one more, guys. Also, just so you know, this league is a is a pretty pretty good league actually. Right now, wow, we have a we have a lot of teams, especially worldwide. Looking at the worldwide rankings, these are all the active teams right now are not the faded out ones. So, if you guys have not yet joined the Onward League, feel free to join, guys. It's a great community. Highly recommend it. Just an amazing group of people to get to play, and it completely changes the game of Onward with all the tactics that you see being played. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay, still waiting for one more. I'm really excited. Now, the thing that you need to be careful about, especially when going against the Danglers, these guys have a very interesting play. Sometimes they're going to be aggressive. Sometimes they're going to stay back. Sometimes you just don't know what to call. But it's crazy the gameplay that they actually do. And since you guys also, side note, have been tuning in and the Super Bowl is currently going, uh, I have pulled up some funny Super Bowl commercials that we will be watching in between rounds. So, get pumped for that. We got some good stuff coming for y'all. So, but uh, Stumpy Nub, probably one of the fastest planners I have ever seen. Um, also with Mexicutioner, this guy has a sick shot that, like, I don't know. His reaction time is just absolutely insane. I've been I've been super impressed by it so far. Uh, these guys have been in the sea in the league since, if I remember correctly, season one. If not, the beginning of season two. Um, we're in season four right now, and each round or each season lasts probably about three, maybe four months. So, uh, just to let you know how long 
this league has been going. Phoenix also has been on the round a very long time. Gibbs, FKA, Leroy, has been on this team since pretty much the beginning. And although they have seen a lot of changes, they have seen a lot of ups and downs, they have stuck together through thick and thin and are still in this league. And that is, it is an amazing thing to have them still in this league because they are a force to reckon with. Gibbs, man, this guy, this guy, he is difficult. He is difficult to kill because it's very tough to tell when he is going to be aggressive and when he is going to stay back and be defensive. I don't know when he's going to do it. I really don't. A really good play just happened in football. My mom was yelling. If you saw it, please comment on what happened. <laughs> um, then, also, Bluga is currently a little bit less active, but that's okay. Uh, Mano. What? This guy. Man, he's fun to play with. He is. This guy has some crazy, crazy, crazy good sneak ability. This guy has some really good hiding spots. And, I mean, just all around is good. And Malcriado, the new player. He's got some good time in this game. He's got some good time. Coming back into the competitive league. So, guys, I'm just saying. It's going to be a good. It's going to be a good one. So... Here we go, we're basically just waiting. But that's okay, we got a lot of things to be able to discuss and figure out. It's gonna be a good time. So, also, if you guys see, yeah, hey, hey, we go all out here with NSYNC, with all sorts of music. Also guys, if you see any plays that you like, any good plays that just happen, like when someone caps, when someone gets a really cool kill and we capture it on the stream, feel free to clip it and if you do clip it let me know i'll go in and find it and we'll do a replay i think that'd be something really cool that we can implement i can't do it by myself guys i'm going to need your help on that if we want to have some really cool replays we had a replay actually just happen last time um last game that i casted actually this morning um in case you were wondering uh it was actually a knife kill so so, uh, if you are ever wondering on cap or on getting stuff going, this gives you a chance to be able to do it. Seven sneaking around. He's gonna get the kill. He's got it. He's going for the knife. He's getting greedy. He's getting greedy. Is he gonna get it? He gets it. He gets the knife. Burning Chrome wins the first round with the knife. Oh man. So, if you guys wanna be able to capture a a play and you clip it. Let me know, and we will actually go back and play it for you guys. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have a huge budget. We go all out with this stream. Now, guys, you need to tell all your friends about, about this league match right now. Oh, good. Everyone's there. Tell everyone about this league match, because we are trying to currently beat... All of the people, all the people watching the Super Bowl, we're trying to get more views than them. Let's see if we can do it, guys. They're at about 14.5 million right now, and we are at 14 views. So, guys, it's the little victories that count. Tell a friend, tell another friend. Get them all here so that we can work together to beat the NFL at having the biggest watch broadcast at this time. Think we can do it? Heck no. <laughs> but we're gonna try. <laughs> so, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. So, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be fun, guys. First map against the Danglers. Oh, come on. You just got to type it out. Yeah, we're, we're doing only two asses. And okay. Now, guys, we're going to be real here. Yeah, we only got about 14 million... Some odd, some odd, some odd, some odd, some odd, and like 90 or an 86 to go. <laughs> so we're getting there, guys. Let's let's not worry about that. Let's not let that get us down. So here we go, though. They chose quarantine, and that way Phoenix chose Volk. And here we go, getting started in the first game. Uh oh, is it not letting me in? Oh no. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. All right, guys. Here we go. Salt Lake City. Booyah. Where I was born and raised. Now in a video game. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, guys. Here is the first objective. 
And we currently have everyone getting in. Phoenix is going to be defending on this one. Now, this is kind of a tough one. There are a lot of different areas where they can attack from. The nice part is they generally aren't able to get from behind. But at the same time, you have a lot of places where you can hide. We have one person going in hotel to watch the flank around. One going up to the plane engine, which is actually a very good hiding spot. Uh, you can hear people coming up behind you, which is big. And then you have a good cover so that you're able to still call out to the rest of your team as to where they are. Gibbs, FKA Leroy, able to look up this building. There's a lot of times when enemies are going to be crawling up the edge of this glass office building. So it'll be interesting to see what they end up doing. And I'm, I'm actually somewhat surprised with Gibbs being here, but he knows what he's doing. He's a good player. Oh, there he goes, sneaking over to the office buildings. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit careful uh, crossing this street. When you cross this street, uh, depending on where they spawn, they can actually pick you off all the way back from spawn and then you start defending down one man so you got to be really careful about that yeah plane engine guys it gets real nothing really happening too much yet but we're gonna have one peek in the corner right over here what's gonna happen that is joe mama the one and only he's gonna be peeking around this corner he's got to be really careful though we got two that are in his general vicinity but we also got one on the roof Oh, man. Joe Mama's not careful. When he peeks around this corner, the hotel man might actually pick him off. But he has some good cover that, you know, he doesn't have to worry about. It's going to be a hard shot to make if he happens to get the shot off. Meanwhile, the guy on the roof is also trying to figure out where they're possibly at and trying to get some pickoffs. If you can start picking off the enemy team one by one... Uh, it makes it a lot easier for you to go for that cap, especially on this objective. You have a good chance of getting some cap. Everyone's still up. Some shots fired. Execution are doing some suppression fire. Everyone else is still up. Lou doing some suppressing fire. Gibbs still up, though. Expediter moving up slowly but surely. Everyone is still kind of... Ooh, crap. We're having a close call right here. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Whoa, Joe Mama making it all the way to the crater, actually getting all the way behind. If he can take out a knacker... And he doesn't, but he's still able to get revived, which means he can call someone out. But he did get the guy at the boulder, and that's huge! That's a big play right there. That is actually a really good trade. If you're going to have a trade, that is one to have. And Joe Mama is still up, so he's able to call things out as he sees fit. Mano still being on the objective just to be safe while smokes are coming out. Now, guys, smokes are a very... Ooh, Gibbs got actually taken out. Hmm. Hmm, that's not good. Um, smokes are a very crucial part, especially for this map. We've seen them being used a lot more lately. The nice thing about smokes is it makes it to where it kind of confuses the enemy, and it allows you to advance in different ways. A lot of the times you can actually use these as distractions uh, to make your opponent look one way while you move another way, and that's a big way that we can also see people using smokes. Also, if you smoke the objective, you can come in from different angles and try to get plants. Lou, sneaking up with Expediter, trying to figure out where possibly the enemy is. The only problem is Gibbs also, even though he is a dead man, he can still call out because he has not been double tapped yet. Just fired on Mano. Lou taken out. Still able to get revived, though. Good shot. Lou not calling anything out, but he doesn't need to. Expediter is still able to call stuff out, and they know basically where he came from. Mano has no idea that he actually got revived, probably. Probably has a little bit of an idea, though. Smoke's coming out. Oh, man, they're going to get Joe Mama revived. That's big! Then they're going to be coming in from behind and have a really good chance to surround them and get that win. There's still only one left. Dang. Nope, we still got Mano and Malcriado. My apologies, guys. Shots fired. Another one taken out. Plane engine was taken out. Currently, it is three on two. 
Mano's got a little bit of work to do. A little bit of an uphill battle. He still has a chance, though, of being able to pull this off, and he is on objective. Smoke's more coming out from Ex Executioner, who's currently rushing it. Again, using the smoke as a cover. Getting to the objective, taking out Execution or taking out Maltriato. Getting Danglers the first win. Very well played, very well played. Not bad, not bad at all. Are they going to start up quick? Maybe. But for your pleasure, here is your first Super Bowl commercial. Young Gazelle is no match for the raw speed of the magnificent cheetah. However, outfit a human with a pair of sketches go run to running shoes, and you never know what might happen. Introducing Sketches Go Run 2 with midfoot strike technology. They're designed for speed. Okay, there we go. I'm back like that. We're in the second rounds. Let's see what Joe Mama and them are saying. We need someone to watch the north side. Sure. I'll go to the north. the north side. Copy. I'll go to the north side. Yeah, okay, like you kind of want to get control of the roof. If you're able to get control of the roof, you have a huge vantage point on everyone else. Only me on the objective. We got two going really far. We got. No, we only got one going really far. I'm going to go to the north wall. Let's see. Shots are already fired. Calling out burning building. Oh, one taken out. Smithy, a beautiful shot. Good rush on that part. Way to get there. That was a beautiful play. That's the thing, though. You need to learn. Uh, you, timing is everything. Smithy taken down. Still able to get revived. What's he doing? Meanwhile. have a lot of people focusing the objective which is good there are a lot of places where you can hide on this objective and one thing that people can do is they will hide on the other side of the wall and when they are able to do that they are able to still have cover and the enemy might not even know they are there nade out oh that's a smoke gives is playing it very carefully communicating very well with malcriado on getting some smoke shots to get some more cover the nade did nothing though Ooh, shooting it, shooting the plane engine a couple of times, getting some good suppression shots. But from the side, Expediter gets the kill. Yeah. Calling out exactly where people are and making sure that they have all their cover needed. Communication is key in this, guys. If you don't have good communication, you're probably going to lose this match like 95% of the time. That is a proven statistic in case you were wondering. He's moving up. He's going mid. Shots fired. Malcriado, though, makes it there in time. He doesn't know that Joe Mama's right there and is taken out right away. Good rush, though, on crossing that street. Very difficult to do. Dangler's now 2 to 0. Good job, guys. Here we go again. Dude, you got Montana on your jersey. Baby, I got a Montana Miracle Stain on my shirt. There's been a lot of talk about a Miracle Stain. And then I was holding my shit like this, and it dropped. Is that real? Yeah, it's real. Crazy. 49 out. The Miracle Montana Stain is People sweeping from the nation. All over the world are flocking to get a glimpse at what some 49ers fans are hoping could be a Super Bowl miracle. I saw the stain. All right. Right here, twenty dollars. Here we go. Stain on a stick. Where's my 49ers jersey? Oh, I washed it. You washed it? I had a stain on it. <gasps> go Ravens. Yo, where'd you go? There we go. I need to get away from something that's not burning, though, so that we have better audio for it. Um, here we go, guys. Let's get this next round started. And it looks like our next objective is going to be the mid-burning building. This will be really fun to see. Now, um, these these guys, the Phoenix team, needs to have... If you guys want to stay close to the objective, I'm going to move back. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go right into the tank. Just stay alive, oh, guys. Stay alive. Keep your head down, okay. right? Risk free. I'm gonna take auto spot under this plane wing. Yeah, do that. I'll be right over here. There they go. Going their separate hey. ways. They have some good hiding spots. Meanwhile, what everyone else is doing is it looks like they are going through the desert while sending one up through hotel. They have a couple of defenders set up, though, to make that happen. But, I mean, with this many rushing, it's going to be a very difficult thing to hold back. But at the same time, once someone is shot, it gives you a really good chance of being able to um, communicate to your team where everyone else is. Hey, guys, just so you know, one person got killed from here. Let's all focus over there. We know that there's at least one person over there. So... There's a guy in the dunes on the left side of Northwest. <laughs> they know where he is in trench. They have There's no idea to stare, possibly, where he is. Where the trench guy possibly has no idea where Stumpy Nub and Mexican Cushion are. One. Just one. Oh, shot's fired. Hitting the pole a couple of times, oh, though. No, no, go, go, go. But that's giving Joe Mama a chance to move up to get possibly a vantage point on where everyone is. Shot's fired. You're on that corner right there. Did Gibbs get downed? Did he get down? Nope, not yet. But, an hacker just got taken out by Expediter. Most of them are now moving around. Gibbs might be taken out right here. He's not careful, and he is. Now everyone else has a lot more of a breathing room with it being five on three. Execution are going on the outside while the others are going on the inside. This is a good spread for them. Execution are taking a bullet, though. Good call out right there. Uh oh, Joe Mama taken out, but now it is three on two. They gotta be careful. They're smoking out to smoke the objective to get closer to it. And kind of make them go into a panic. Usually when smokes come out, people get a lot more worried about where they're coming from if they're going to be rushing onto objective because we have seen a couple of times where people have rushed objective it's a scary thing teamwork is everything about this and the more you know about your opponent the better the more you can call out the more you can communicate to your team hey this is what they're doing and a lot of people in this league what they will do is they will go through and look up past broadcasts they'll look up past gameplay to figure out what the other team is doing, how they play, how aggressive they play, what they do, to figure out, hey, when we go in, this is what they do. Mama getting dangerous and close, walking up. He could plant from here. He can plant from here. If they have no idea, they are going to be moving up 3 to 1. 3 to 0. 4 to 0. Wow, Dangler's win! Taking out 3 to 4 to 0. Wow! That was amazing. Great plant. By the way, guys, yes, you can climb up that. That is a legal move. You're able to naturally walk up it, and as long as you are naturally able to do it without having to like move your character forward, forcing it forward, or you know anything like that, it is legal. And that is a huge play to be able to walk that. All right, where's the next vote? Anything? Is it downfall? I can't see that vote. That's the only vote I can't see. So we're probably going downfall next. Beautiful first play. Beautiful first round by Danglers. Wow. These guys had some great plays. And we are going Suburbia. Woohoo. This is going to be a really good match. Um, Danglers and Danglers and them are very solid. It looks like Gibbs and them are taking. Taking the Dangler, or taking the Volk side. I'm, I'm a little discombobulated right now, but we're doing okay. Oh, I think they're making another room. Let me double check real quick, guys. I apologize about that. While we wait... Enjoy some more Super Bowl commercials. Let me check real quick that... Uh, oops, no, I'm to troubleshoot. Let me double check that we have volume mixer for the Spotify. No, not Spotify. <laughs>
apartment Oreo. That's crazy. The cookie's the best part. Cream. Cream. Cookie. Cream. to go daddy. There's the sexy side represented by Bar Raffaele and the smart side that creates a killer website for your small business represented by Walter. To get Okay. When you have a team. Hey, give it back. Come back when you have a team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gather your team, the new seven pack. Looks like we are going to Bazaar next. Wow. And this is going to be interesting to see. So, it looks like the Danglers took round one, four to zero. Great job. That was some great plays on their part. It'll be interesting to see how Phoenix responds to that as this is now there are no this the choice was danglers picking bizarre so now we'll be able to see what happens but phoenix is on the defensive side so it'll be interesting to see how they happen to respond to this guys just so you know if they do happen to lose this round then the win will go to danglers and the last round will be play, paid played for points but if phoenix happens to win this then the last round will be the one that decides the match so Cross your fingers, guys, and let's hope that Phoenix wins because that's just kind of fun. Not going to lie. All right. Vote now on who you think is going to win in the chat below. Let me know. Is Phoenix going to take this round? Is Phoenix going to take this map, or are Danglers going to win this one? Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And we won't have to wait for too long. We're about to find out. Let's see. Phoenix is defending, so let's see what they have to say about this. Uh, fuck. I'm going to watch the north road right here, like I always do. Okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm, gonna... I'm staying on the objective. Yeah, I'm going to stay right here, too. Yeah, stay real close to this, on this side of the street. I'll stay I'm right there. Go Has anyone taken Mini sit. Bazaar? I'm, yeah, I'm going West Market and listening. Okay. being a little quiet right now meanwhile what's going on right now all of them are moving up the west side while some of them are going through bizarre okay they were just called out second store second story lou being there trying to get a pick off trying to figure out where they're possibly at he has a good idea a little bit of a good idea as to where they are at they have a very strong defense so far for this a very hard wall that they are going to have to break Oh, Smith, he pokes out a bit too much. Lou almost just picked him off. Main street there. Just left West Alley. Lou. Lou almost picked off Smithy. That would have been a, a pretty big blow. But Executioner moving up to the window. The check window. Meanwhile, Mano taken down through the window by Lou. Beautiful shot. Able to get revived, though, as long as Smithy is able to. Expediter also pushing on this building while being suppressed by Lou. Very nice teamwork right there. Executioner peeking around the corner. He's got to be careful though. Smithy coming up from behind. Takes down Executioner, but Executioner is now dead and Expediter gets to revive him. Mano though is waiting for him, peeking through a window, being a beautiful window boy. Some suppression fire. Mano not falling for it though, moving up. He might go up and around again. Blue room across the street. Joe Mama getting into the blue room, though. Getting kind of dangerously close to objective. Meanwhile, for everyone else, the smokes are coming out. Danglers are using a lot of smokes lately. 
And it, it, it's a very strong advantage. Shots fired and a trade breaks out. Malcriado and Anacker being the last two that are up. Two on three. Lou looks like he's going to be sneaking in through the mini bazaar while Expediter goes on the other side through the blue room. And Executioner taking one more out, being in the mid area, trying to go for the plant. Lou and Expediter moving in on objective, going for plant. They have enough smoke cover to where they can get it. If Malcriado is not careful, they will score. And they do get the score. Expediter gets the plant. Beautiful play on that. Way to break down that. Their timing on that was incredible with that. Great job all around. Wow. That was awesome. That was awesome. And for your viewing pleasure, not that commercial, this one. <laughs> Good night. Any questions? What the heck's the Boop. Nope, not important. Okay, yeah, and you're exactly right. You got to be a little bit careful with that because just because you take one down doesn't mean that you're incredibly safe. You got to be careful about that. Let's see what Phoenix is going to say. Oh, oh they're falling apart, boys. They're falling apart. Uh, That's them. <laughs> Wrong team. Cover the back side over here, okay? I'm just lagging really hard. There's not, all of a sudden, I know. I'm lagging okay. really hard. I get it. I'm crossing. Uh, I'm yeah, going across yeah, the market. Fine. Yeah, we're the same here. Okay. Well, don't go t Yeah, that's right. Never mind. We're on assault. Uh... All right. I'm really going to be quick to aim to shoot. Smoke's already going out. That's going to let the other team know where they spawn. And at the same time, when they know where they spawn, that tells you a lot about, like, where they're going to come from, how, they're, how much time it's going to take, and where to properly defend everything. Now it looks like what they might be doing is they're going to be going up and around, but I mean they already got two people who are ready and willing to accept that fight. The main one who's going to be fighting there is going to be Lou. Is he going to be able to take them out a little bit? It'll be interesting to see. One's already been taken out. Anacker falling to some bullets. Lou really playing aggressive here. This is also something you got to be incredibly careful with. And they are. Mano taking out the kill, getting Lou. Beautiful. Boop. What they gonna do? What they gonna do? Malcriado sneaking up like a snake in the grass. This is a lot of cover for him, so as long as he stays in, cor in a correct way, it's gonna be very hard for him to get spotted and then he's going to have very good positioning on them at the same time though you got to be careful this takes a lot of patience for you to have to go through it is a very slow game that you're playing but when you have you know four and a half minutes left you just you have to play the patience game shots mired on smithy at the same time joe mama sneaking from behind if he's not careful and he is getting the kill 
They had no idea that he was from behind. At the same time, Joe Mama is using a silencer too. So with him being so behind, they have no idea really that they shot there. It is so hard for him to call that gun. Malcriado might be in trouble if he's not careful. Behind the tank, right? Dang, he is just playing a flank game the entire time. He's going to get behind them, pick them all off, and do his best. Meanwhile, over here, we do have one sneaking around from the outside, about to make it into Blue Room if he's not careful. Or if he is careful, I mean, he'll make it either way. Wait, where is he? Oh, on the outside. Mano, still alive and trucking. At the same time, guys, it is two on four. Lou being the only one taken out. Some fire, some fire has been exchanged, but nothing big enough for a down or a kill. Mano's got to be a little bit careful out here, though. Using the cement barrier, which is very smart, you cannot shoot through the cement barrier for, you know, obvious reasons. But there are a lot of areas that you can. Stumpy Nub, if he's not careful and he peeks that window, he's in trouble. Malcriado getting some shots off, trying to kill them. But Stumpy Nub is, has officially spotted him, throwing a nade out. And Joe Mama sneaking up from behind, getting another kill. It is up to one left. Mano running in, going for Expediter. Shot fired, gets him. He's got to be careful, though. Stumpy Nub is on the other side, moving around, rotating very well. And he gets taken out by Joe Mama. That flank that Joe Mama did, absolutely insane. I did not expect that. The... the just the reading of his enemy, being able to sneak, sneak around, figure out, hey, I know that they're going to be flanking around at the tank area. I'm going to go on the opposite side, and I'm going to get behind them and then be able to take them out. I mean, at the same time... Right now, Joe Mama has five kills. Expediter has a plan. This is going to be a very good play. Here we go. Is this going to be the last round? Is this going to be the game? Get Danglers the win, completely sweeping their enemy. Okay. Oh, no. One dropped out. Are they going to be able to call? Oh, nope. Smithy loaded in. Good. <laughs> That's always scary, guys. You do not want to be down a guy. And if you don't catch it, which sometimes has happened, then you need to really... Then you play down with a person, and no one wants that. We want to have... We want to have this league basically as fair and as open, and they are rushing this. Malcriado gets into a spot. We saw Sickness earlier today being there also. Stumpy Nub also running up on the edge. They are rushing this. Stumpy Nub getting some shots off officially gets taken down. Joe Mama taken out and Acker taken out. Stumpy Nub also is down, able to get revived and do call outs though. Executioner just wet, ready and waiting right now. Moving in, trying to get a good view on people who are possibly going to be peeking this window. He's going for that kill, hoping to get that pick off. No one is there, though. Malcriado, though, being at the fountain, watching the objective like this. This is something that we've seen a little bit more lately, ever since we saw beginners do this. He's trying to push up, hopefully to get... Oh, and he's taken out down for the count. This might be... This might be Phoenix's first round win. Okay. Lou is in a good position, though. He's got to be mindful of Malcriado, though. It's almost getting to the point where we're seeing it a little bit more that you almost want to nade that spot just in case they're there. Uh-oh. Nade out. Is Lou going to be taken out? The answer is... I don't know. I thought I heard a grenade drop. Did I hear a grenade drop? He's sneaking up, and he is so close to Malcriado. If he shoots once, Malcriado can just come around the corner, and boom, he's dead. Oh, and some sandstorm. What's going to happen? Expediter moving in. What are they going to do? 
Expediter has a very sneaky game he needs to play right now. If he's able to sneak in and get a plant, they have no idea where he's at. The Sandstorm is also covering up his noise. I'm talking about the song, not the actual Sandstorm. Expediter's going for the plant. Is he going to be able to get it, making it 5-0? They have no idea that he's there. He gets the plant. Danglers win the match. 5-0, taking it again. Malcriado had no idea he was there. He used the cover to his advantage. Guys, that's the match right there. We have the third round playing for points. But, oh man, Dangler swept him. 9-0 to zero right now, and the last round is going to be played for points currently. So we're going to wait and see to see what's going on and what map they end up picking. What, though? That is exciting. Some amazing, amazing play and some horrible hairstyles for me because I just got out of VR myself. Disregard that. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what they pick next. Here we go, loading in. Here we go, though. Downfall for the final match. Okay, guys, for those of you who might not know, and most of you probably do, Downfall is the biggest map in the game. Lots of places to hide, but also a lot of ground to cover. The amazing part about this, though, is because of the area that you are in, you have a lot of places that you can run from. A lot of places you can hide in. I might be a little brain dead. That's okay, guys. <laughs> but, I mean, there are people who know this map and know how to crawl from their spawn all the way through objective. For example, in case you didn't know this, what you can do is when you spawn up at this objective what you can do oh gosh oh gosh uh, it, no uh, okay uh, no there, uh, gosh okay there we go what you can do is when you spawn at this objective you can run over to here there's hills right here you can start crawling right here and when you get into this hole you are able to basically safely crawl all the way up to here without being spotted and are able to get closer to objective at the same time, if you need to, you can also risk going this way. You have a little bit of a chance of being spotted. Oh, crap. My bad. Sorry, guys. Thanks for the heads up. Anyway. Oh. That's a hotkey. That's why. Weird. Sorry about that. Thank you, guys, for telling me. Okay. So what you can do is when you spawn up at that building in the distance, what you can actually do is there is a divot right here. If you want, you can actually crawl through this divot all the way up to this wall to give yourself a pretty big advantage against people either firing on this building right here where some people like to hide or being able to fire on chopper or main burning building the choice is yours callouts are huge on this knowing where your opponents are if you know where they spawn you're able to know where they go also, another place where a lot of people have been hiding lately have been this West Church. The thing is, is if you hide right here, whoops, if you hide right in here, you are you have the cover of this fence ahead of you, and you have the ability to cover everything successfully. Like it is a very hard shot to be able to get off on people. <laughs> Mal Criado, you gotta remember, he's still new on this team. He doesn't know all the callouts yet, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. He still had some really good plays in this match. Not gonna lie, I've been really impressed with how he's played, and he's he's a really good pickup for them. He he's he's very knowledgeable about this game. It's just again that team play, that playing together, which we have seen from the Danglers, is crucial. Danglers have been playing together for so long that they have that team unity needed. Malcriado might have just been downed. Yep, he has been. Meanwhile, also Smithy's going to be going for the respawn. Nope. Unable to get the respawn. Meanwhile, one is still running through the ravine to try to get around. Guys, we have another sandstorm coming in. You know what that means, naturally. Oh 
man, this is big. An executioner being up in the white building. Now, this is a very strong point because you are able to cover the building and have a good lookout while being in a dark room. Oh, here we go. Is that someone down? Yep, he was down, but now he just got revived by a teammate. They substituted a man. Ry Bowman, a new teammate on their team, just got picked up and they subbed out probably because they already run the match and they want to get him some some league experience which i mean that's huge another smoke coming out i don't know why you're throwing smoke in a sandstorm but hey if you want to play that way more than welcome to meanwhile expediter is using the advantage to be able to sneak around it is so hard to spot people in this game especially from this distance. It gives the Marsaw team a huge advantage to be able to sneak into the smoke. If you are able to crawl in the smoke because you have enough time, which they do, four minutes left, then you have such a big advantage with this. And that is what we are seeing right now. Mexicutioner and Joe Mama are using the, using the Sandstorm to their advantage, sneaking up Mexicutioner, and it might be taken out, though. And he takes out an Acker. Gibbs, FKA Leroy, though, is moving up. He might be able to get a kill on this guy. Smoke out, giving away his, his position, although he already knew where he was at because Executioner fired on his own team, on on Phoenix's team. Executioner going out and around. He does not know that Gibbs FK Leroy is there just yet. Mano, though, on objective, if he's able to spot Executioner on the roof, he might be able to take him out. Shots fired on the helicopter, though. Giving away his position, Executioner's now watching firing and taking out Mano. Danglers winning that first round. Great job. And now we are going to see the sandstorm all of a sudden end, which is a really fun thing. I don't know. I really enjoy seeing it. It's just so funny that it abruptly ends like this once they actually like start the next round, whenever that might be. So it's a big deal, guys. It's a big deal. We all know this. Here they go. The next round is starting. And, nope, it was a psych. I've been really impressed with Dangler's play. They have played every single round and have not given a single point over to Phoenix yet. It is now 10 to zero. 13 to zero if you count the three points from winning both rounds. Now, one of the bigger strong points and also a place that people have hidden a little bit you've seen a lot of gameplay where people have hidden in the chopper but another place where a lot more people including global kim have been hiding have been up in these sandbags giving you a really big point it's more so the inconsistency you don't expect someone there and it is still a very strong point to defend in so food for thought my friends food for thought also if anyone has an update for the super bowl let me know Next, next, uh, after this next round, we will be playing some more Super Bowl commercials for your pleasure. There we go. Ry Bowman taking up the, the helicopter. Very hard spot to be able to kill people. You have a good lookout. And this gap right here is incredibly hard to shoot through. He, Ryan has a very, or Ry has a very good shot through, but it is very hard for the enemy to shoot through. It's kind of annoying, but it happens. <laughs> Lou playing the wall. Expediter being at ice cream truck. This is what it's looking like for where they are at right now. I actually really like that we have one that is going all the way up and around. Wall suppression is going on. He has a little bit of a battle to go through. This area is a little bit risky. There is not as much cover going around this way. But if he's able to pull this off, uh, he's going to give his team a huge advancement. Because while you're... Mm, excuse me. While you're attacking from up here, everyone's going to be looking and focusing. Whoa, wait, what's this? Someone's up there. While well, it gives the rest of your team a chance to push up. 
And if Gibbs plays this correctly, it can really help his team. Meanwhile, Joe Mama's already in the mid-hotel. He might actually get picked off, especially by Gibbs. They have no idea that he's there. Executioner playing it smart, being in the white car, building on the ground floor, literally just to watch objective. That is a very strong point. You're able to look right on objective and be able to see if they come around from the other side. Meanwhile, they also have Expediter to make sure that no one comes in from behind with Lou. This is a very strong defensive point. Malcriado is also down in the ravine, taken out. This is going to be very interesting to see what happens. They're getting another person on Marsoc to flank around, pushing some pressure on Joe. Joe getting to the roof. Gibbs might shoot him, though, if he's not careful. But Joe is very strategic with his gameplay. Missing some shots, though, on Gibbs, but pushing Driving him back north, a little uh, bit. Northeast spawn house. Okay, he's called it out officially, and with his positioning, that is a very strong point for him. What's going to happen? Nice. They got were able to move up without Joe Mama seeing that he's now next to the red car building. Gibbs also still suppressing Joe Mama. Joe Mama trying to get a look on him. What's he going to do? Gibbs, FKA Leroy, is sneaking up, though. Shots fired. And, unfortunately, Gibbs is dead. Some shots fired by Smithy, though. Joe Mama now knows he is there, and if he's able to pick him off then, that would be a very strong point for Joe Mama. It's a little bit of a run, a little bit of a risk, but when they found out that they were at North-South Marsoc, Joe Mama knew he could make it up there in time from where he spawned, and it's paid off pretty well for them so far. Again, guys, this is all about timing. You need to figure out where they spawn at and then move around so that you can, you can get the best defense possible. And Acker also picking up mid-hotel. If Rai has no idea he's there, he might be able to get him picked off a little bit or be him putting a little bit more pressure on Lure Expediter, which are in complete cover. Rai is focusing on the north, and with him being slightly exposed, and Acker might be able to pick him off. Me personally, I generally always assume that there is one in the, in the chopper. Shots fired, Lou taken out. Beautiful shot by an Acker. Expediter now focusing on the roof. They don't exactly know if he is at the if, at the ice cream truck yet. Rai also is focusing on an acker. Currently, though, also we have a minute and 30. It is getting some close calls. Um, Marsoc is getting close to the objective, but they need to be careful. An acker's moving and taken out. Ouch. Ryan getting him. Rai Bowman. Yep. Ry Bowman getting one of his first kills in the league. If not his first kill in the league. Mano being one of the last ones taken out. Joe Mama, though, was taken out, guys. We currently have one on three. Smithy has a little bit of an uphill battle with one minute left, though. He has to make a move. At the same time, he has a little bit of an advantage with them not quite knowing where he is at. But Mexicutioner is watching from the white car building on the first floor, watching the objective directly. So this is going to be a very risky move. Smithy, if he has to, and he almost has to run to the objective if he expects to plant, has to run over there, shoot Mexicutioner, Position given away. Expediter now knows where he's at. 30 seconds left, though. Uh-oh. Smithy's dead. Smithy's dead. That is a very good hiding spot from Executioner. Very good defense by them. Now winning up 2-0. to zero. Great plays all around. I didn't like this commercial. I watched this before. We're going to skip it. We're going to probably skip that one, too. This one's a good one. Daddy, can you play Princess Fashion Show with me? Sweetheart, I'd love to, but the guys, they're outside waiting for me. That's me, Joe. Steve, what is the holdup?
Is that my wedding dress? It could be. On the plus side, he fits the in the wedding in. dress. Not now. I'm in the zone. Speaking of the zone. Is that my wedding dress? come from? Oh, that's one of my favorite commercials. We're gonna have to catch that. <laughs> that that's one of my favorite. Here we go, guys. Thank you for also joining this league match and the uh, Super Bowl Sunday. We didn't meet. We didn't beat the Super Bowl in views, but that's okay, guys. We'll get there. We'll get there one day. They did spawn up at North South Marsock, so they can rush this. Gibbs is taking kind of a risky move right here, running up like this. Ryan is getting. Oh, Gibbs just dropped down, hiding completely. Oh, and Gibbs is taken out, but he was able to call out to his team where the spawn was at. Is that enough to actually make a difference for them this game, though? Execution are moving up. We're going to be seeing some Smithy taking some bullets if he's not careful. Executioner sneaking up on the side. White building being peaked. He is seen. Executioner is being shot at and is taken out. Down for the count. Beautiful shot. It's quiet. Meanwhile, everyone else is kind of rotating around trying to figure out where to go and what to do. Mano firing some shots on the uh, north-south Marsock buildings. Trying to shoot at Ryan, but with no luck. But enough to suppress him away from the window. At the same time, those back at the north stables are trying to make their way up to the Humvee. This is some huge cover that they have. Again, this is the, this is the indent in the wall. This is the hole that I told you about that you can actually crawl up. And this is what Expediter and Lou are doing right now. They are using the hole to be able to move up and get a good position on their opponent. Expediter testing the water. Figuring out how many people are still up on his team. Meanwhile, one in the hills very in the distance. That is a very hard shot to make, but that is also very hard to get shots off. There he goes, Expediter crawling in the trench. You cannot see them in the trench. It is very difficult to. And you have a lot of cover to make your way up. He's got to be careful, though, because Mano is in the roof. He is on top of the roof. Each team has lost one person, though. Oh, we see someone pushing up towards the hill, though. Shots fired. Taking out another one. Joe, Mama, and Lou are officially down on the dangler side. Expediter, though, getting very good positioning. But at the same time, Mano's still on the roof. If he's not careful, the roof is such a strong point to hold. And having it is a huge advantage. At the same time, you can be shot from multiple directions, so you've got to be careful about that. But at the same time, we got to be careful. Oh, it's two on four right now. It looks like someone dropped. It's Ryan and Expediter left. We lost Stumpy. Did we lose Stumpy? Oh, good shot on the rooftop. Down and out for the count. Expediter, good shot. Smokes out to give some good distraction and cover as needed. He knows that there's probably someone over at objective, so he's smoking so that he's able to get a better... Malcriado to shoot something or see something. Expediter moving up though. Oh no, not the team kill. He just got team killed. He was too far away. He wasn't able to tell what team he was on. Shot from far away and Smithy took out his own teammate. No one is too, no one is very close on objective. If they take out an Acker, they have a chance to plant. At the same time, though, uh, Expediter is a little bit far away still. He's getting closer every second, though. You cannot plant from the inside, though, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Another team kill? Was that another team kill by Ryan or no? Phoenix wins their first round. Wait, what happened? Was that just a series of team kills or... Oh, that was probably from the first floor of the main objective. Wow. Great job. Wait, 
We got the Super Bowl commercial to show you guys. Where do babies come from? Uh, oh, well, th there's a planet. It's called Babylandia. It's uh, filled with babies, babies of all kinds. Uh, every day they gather for a space launch. <laughs> wave goodbye, and then they, they board these big rocket ships, right? Yeah! And they shoot off deep into space, and they penetrate the atmosphere. And then they're released all over the place. After a nine-month journey, they find their mommies and daddies. And that, son, is where babies come from. But Jake said babies are made when mommies and daddies... You go, play with us on the bus. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay, that's good. Oh, whoops. Looks like we already started too. Wow, they are rushing this one. They are getting their positions. It is over at the Palm Building. Uh, we also got one who is currently over. Uh, in the West Church, you see Lou playing this. This is a very strong position. You're going to see this in action now. And why this is such a viable spot. We have a couple, everyone, just so you know. This is what it's looking like for everyone pushing. Very strong point, but at the same time, they have two over at the North-South Marsock. Maybe a little bit of a risky move, but at the same time, still a very, a very strong point. To be able to hold two people here, they have they have a big look at that they are able to give to everyone. Let's listen to their comms. That way you guys can see just kind of the, how the communication is for them. They were around their hotel, north of the hotel. <laughs> Ooh, one taken out at north-south Marsoc. Expediter hopefully heard that and knows that he's taken out and knows that one is coming from behind, which he does. Don't Mano, though, is in a very good hiding spot. I mean, yes, he's out in the open, but trying to peek that, especially when you're already focusing on that objective, on that area, it's very easy for you to get the first shot out. An Expediter needs to be really careful with how he's peeking. Expediter might just be retreating a little bit, trying to give him Where's the Where's that guy from? Center bungalow. Two of them west, uh, one on West Street, the northwest, and one uh, in the center bungalow. Our guy that needs a res. Uh, guys, it's just me on objective right now. Okay. Our guy that needed res is dead. Joe Mama watching objective, but at the same time, Inacker is moving up into the main hotel. What a center hotel. Called out. Joe Mama's going to be moving around, trying to get that kill. Inacker, not expecting it almost, but he should be able to hear his footsteps. Joe Mama just patiently waiting on the stairs. There is barely a peak that he can get. And Acker taken down. Malcriado's still up though. And Lou is dead. Oops. And Acker getting Joe Mama. Oh man, it's all up to Executioner right now. Executioner is far from the objective though. If they are able to move up and get on the objective, they will be able to plant. He's too far from the objective. Way too far. And Acker and Malcriado, though, are just m slowly moving up. Executioner has maybe just realized that his team is completely dead. He is running to objective. No, he's running to hunt down. And that is 2-2 two, two to Phoenix. Malcriado, a little stressed because he just <laughs> was crawling to get there. Man, 
Investors just like you could lose tens of thousands of dollars on their 401k to hidden fees. Thankfully, E-Trade has low-cost investments and no hidden fees. But, you know, if you're still bent on blowing this fat stack of cash, there's a couple ways you could do it. Or just go to E-Trade and save it. Boom! We're drinking from the... Okay, guys, they are playing super tight tonight, but Phoenix has officially gotten two points. There we go. They they have a good chance of taking this round, and they are on defense. Defense is a very hard time to take, and uh, with the one that it actually is, this uh, is fine. a tough one. Uh, yeah, let's cap it. Danglers. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Hoping to cap it. Let's see what the other team's thinking. Hey, you guys. Mayno, you want to get down in a small building down there? Oh yeah, I'm getting in the in, in the room of the objective because I've seen them capping this shit. And they're going for a cap now. Of course, oh, they have oh, a little yeah. bit long of a run. Already taking one I'm out though at chopper. chopper. Come on, give me a break. They're coming on. They saw well, that coming, coming the and right they side. are rushing this. They are hurrying up and getting down, shooting another oh, one. Oh, that's Smithy. That's Smithy. Bullshit. We're both in cover. Oh Mate, no! I swear to God, we're both in cover. This game is complete horseshit. We're gonna turn that down real quick. Officially, though, the majority of them have been taken out. One able to get revived still, and he's able to get some callouts. But it's a little bit of a uphill battle for them right now, and they have a good chance of getting in the plant. Gibbs, though, working on hopefully to get some suppressing. He's taken out also another, another beautiful shot by Danglers. One left. And it is a knacker being the sole survivor. If he's able to get over to Smithy, he might be able to get the revive, but at the same time, no one is next to objective. Right? No one. Currently, this is what the field looks like. They have one that is able to get revived, but that's the best they can do. They don't know how many they've even taken down yet, so you gotta be a little bit careful about that and a little weary while coming over to the objective. But if they are not careful, they are going to be easily able to get the cap on this just because of how spread they are. And Acker's peeking out, though, from the second story, trying to get a good objective position up on them. He might be picked off from this distance, though. They've had some great shots this round. And Acker really needs to be careful because he is out in the open. It is a little bit harder to spot the black uniform from that far away just because of how much it does blend in with the background. But an Acker is moving back into into the objective building didn't want to risk oh smithy's officially dead gibbs is the only one up left so it's up to a knacker basically at this point point. and with it being 2-2 phoenix needs to hold this down to hopefully get a round win a knacker did a good job rotating back to objective might have been a little bit longer than we probably would have liked but he did it and that's a good part the tough part is standing up in the window like that and standing up on those stairs like that you, you're exposed pretty well to where a, a good shot will will end it for you. And the Danglers have had some dang shots, dang good shots. Here we go, Expediter again using the trench to try to get up to objective. Crawling in, that's the second time we've seen him use that trench. It's a favorite. Expediter though, firing at some people. Unable to get them. Joe Mama being the only one taken out so far. And Acker is just focusing on them, trying to make sure. And Acker getting some more shots. Might be running trying to get Gibbs. Nope, he's running to push up. Ryan and Executioner, though, are almost ready to receive him. Just being like, dude, come at me, bro. And Gibbs is officially dead and out for the count. It is only up to an Acker. Meanwhile, from the north side, we got one running up trying to plant. If he's able to communicate to the team that he is trying to plant, they might be able to hold off on the kills. Oh, man. Executioner down. Lou throwing another smoke, hoping to get some good cover while he's trying to move up. Um, man, an Acker though, he's getting pretty far from objective. If they are able just to play the waiting game, they will be able to get in and plant with Lou getting there in time. 
And Acker's watching, though, the building. He knows where Lou is at this point. Shots fired and more snow smoke thrown. Okay, he's not able to see him. Is he out of ammo now? And taken out. That makes it Danglers three to two. Here we go. That was a very good push on their part. Very good push. Oh, that's not me. Okay. Do 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 do. Here we go. What could be maybe the last round if Danglers are able to pull this off, and it is a bit good objective to be able to hold. This is a dangerous one, though. It's a good one. And where they spawned at? Ooh, over in the north side. This is a tough one, but they are able to get inside the north hotel, which will give them a pretty big advantage. Joe Mama running over to the chopper, getting in the chopper. That's good cover for him. Executioner already firing. He ran around, getting in the dark room. That's going to be a hard shot to hit. That's a very strong position from Executioner. There is a little bit of a risk getting there if they run over the hill and are able to see you right away. You have a small chance of getting picked off, but they've made it work, and this is a strong point for them. Rye is running right now and taken out. Great shot. Expediter trying to do some suppressive fire. Meanwhile, Rai and Malcriado are taken out. Down for the count. <laughs> Calling out the correct building. Yep, they are at West Red Truck Building. Joe Mama taking some shots. Taking out Gibbs. Just patiently waiting. Any exposure that they can get, Joe Mama will take full advantage of. This is literally all the exposure that Joe gets. And that he was able to hit that guy at red car. That takes some skill. Not going to lie. Now he's just sitting and waiting, trying to get around while the rest of his team is trying to cover their objectives. And Acker's in a good position. And also Smithy running down to the white car building. This is a very strong position for him. And with him being able to move up and around, he might be able to take out some people. Oh, he missed his shots. He missed his shots against Expediter. Expediter now knows that he's down at white car building and is kind of focusing that, making sure that he doesn't move up and around. Shooting through the stairs. Smithy taken out. And Acker, though, on the stairs. Trying to figure out what's going on. Trying to figure out what to do. This is a very tough situation. This is a strong objective point. And a beautiful shot, though, by Anacker. Great readout on his opponent. Now, guys, currently it is two on three. Uh, and Acker is trying to move up to the objective and Expediter or, and Mano is suppressing with the sniper rifle. At the same time though, you gotta be a little bit careful. He is shooting a lot and you might run out of ammo a little bit quicker. Joe Mama though has had a very hot shot today so you gotta be careful not to peek where he's at. Lots of time left though with three minutes and 30 seconds left left in the round. Acker moving, shooting at Joe Mama, taking him out. Oh, man. This is going to get close. It is two on two. Mano and Inacker versus Max Kushner and Lou. They're trying to communicate a game plan real quick on the Phoenix side. And this is big. This is a big choice because they do have a chance to win this round. They have a chance to win this map, but they have to tread very carefully here. Executioner rotating around to probably get on the inside of the building to get better cover of the objective. Which is correct. That is what he's doing. 
Oh man. Sniping from the dark room. Executioner, if he on accident steps up, there is a very good chance that he is picked off. And then that'd be one left on the objective. He's gotta be careful. Um, at the same time though, Mano's gotta be careful. Lou taken out! Oh no. Executioner running up and around though, getting ready for an acker to peek. Will an acker peek though? Frag out trying to double tap that guy. Is he gonna get it? No, he doesn't get it. An acker doing the smart thing though, not double peeking it, rotating around. A big part about this game and a big strategy that you want and a good thing to implement is not to double peek certain times. Uh, there's a lot of times when you're trading fire with someone, it's smart just to rotate around and to get a better position on your opponent. And Acker's going to start trying to move up, calling out for some suppressive fire, but at the same time, Malcriado does not have a shot. He does now. Suppressing fire, he's running up. Executioner trying to get on objective. At the same time, Anacker though. Uh-oh. Executioner running up and around. Anacker's out of ammo and is taken out. Oh, man. Phoenix wins with the snipe. Are you kidding me? That's a beautiful shot by Mano. Great shot. It's going down. 3-3, three, three guys, right now. Oh, man. It all comes down to this being the final round. What's going to happen? I mean... It, it's a very good chance that uh, Phoenix might be able to win this round on downfall. And I, I kind of hope they do. It's been a very uphill battle for Phoenix. But right now, they have a very good chance of winning it. Now, of course, Danglers have already won this round. Uh, have already won the ramp match. <clears throat> wow, I am tired. <laughs> but if Phoenix could win this round and get some points for them, that would be huge. Especially because they have not been able to score any points in the other rounds. Danglers have just been playing extremely well tonight. And you gotta be careful about that. Here we go, guys. And what is the final round of this match? Whoever wins this game, it's over after this. Done. Done away with. Not gonna happen anymore. Let's see what Phoenix is saying. We had you played well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we I'd really like to make it to a hotel, we but you know, these guys are pretty good. So, yeah. I just, I, thought, I'm gonna get, I'm I gonna really thought you guys said you wanted to do No, I'm going to get some yeah. No, I don't, do I don't like it. I like the map. I don't like hey, the guys, objectives. Hey, guys, think about where you're going. Move quick. Hey, Gibbs. Gibbs, you going to be covering the south? Yes, yeah, sir. Yep. It all comes down to this. You need to figure out where yeah, they're spawned at. I'm getting in the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the 12 times. Let me get into position first. Yeah. Or you go running up there. Shots fired. They now know where they spawned at. Three of them. Three of them over towards that main objective building right there. All moving up together and are going to be using that wall to crawl up the edge. Expediter, I mean, he... Expediter is one who really likes to use cover a lot to move up to the objective, but... Right now he's playing a little aggressive. S. Smithy taken out already. They're down a man. Executioner. Right, oh, you man. Super close to the objective. How did he get up there so fast? He just booked his way up there the entire time. Shot fired. He got shot in the leg, but was not taken out. There's a guy in the dumpster building? He now knows that there's one on the first floor. Hey, my spy is exposed, Gibbs. You know I'm running up the flank. This game, hopefully, is almost as good as the Super Bowl. Was that you with the silencer in the dumpster building? Oh! Takes out an Acker. Beautiful shot. That is a hard shot to see. Now, if he's able just to run, and he might just run and jump off the stairs, he has a good chance of planting, especially with where opponents are at. We got one all the way up off the map. We've been seeing that played a little bit more, especially by Golobokem, and now by Phoenix. Very hard to get some shots, but very good to get some call out. An executioner is running up, trying to get a plant. He has no idea that there is someone up there, but at the same time, he's going for the five-point win. An executioner, is he going to get it? Typing in the code, memorizing it. They're shooting. An executioner got it. Danglers win. Five to three. That was an amazing rush on his part. Amazing rush. And guys, that is the 
game. That is the match. That is what we came together to play for. And that, mm, Danglers winning it all right there. First game they won. Yeah, it was, what was it? Mm, I can't think right now. But they won 4-0 the first one. 4-0 the second one and 5-3 the third one all around a very good match on their part guys it is over and done with thank you so much for watching and like always we are sending it out with the greatest halftime show wait before we do that actually let me pull it up since this is uh since this is a big moment Let's get this over with. One, two, three, four. The greatest halftime show of all times. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, you jack wagon. It's the thrilling one mark here, the last one to bow. We'll never sacrifice that we will. We'll never let you down, and we'll raise it in. Be only in the back. Are you kidding me? This guy's an idiot. Oh well, oh well, whatever. Anyway, guys, that's that's the stream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember, follow this channel. We get all of the league match stuff that you love to see. And we try to cast it well and professionally. If you have any suggestions on what we could do to do better, feel free to let me know. Also, if you want to join the league, guys, the Alma Master League website is right here, gonna be posted in the chat. And feel free to join the league. It's an amazing league. We have a Discord for all of y'all, and it's great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, we love you, and have a good day. Go watch the Super Bowl. If you're not into that, that's fine. I don't blame you. I'm kind of not either, but there's good food downstairs, and I haven't had dinner yet. Peace off.